<laughs> what do you know? Hello, ha, friends and family, what's up? So I came out here this morning, I'm still sick by the way. Oh, speaking of sick and, and by the way, those of you that are still here after the disgustingness that occurred at the end of the last video, I'm gonna call you guys my ride or die. You guys, are, that was pretty disgusting, I will admit, but you're still here and yeah, you guys are my ride or die crew. I promise that I won't do anything that disgusting for at least another month or so, maybe. <laughs> I feel these things out. I can't really say when the next disgusting thing is going to happen. It could have happened today. Probably not, though. So I came out here this morning, and there are these deer traipsing around the, the property. So I, I busted out my drone, and I don't know if I got any good shots of them or not, but I'm going to play them right now, just in case I did. Okay, so my plan for today is to tell you guys about how I got involved with Freedom Breeder and, and working with Freedom Breeder. I, I meant to do this video at some point and I guess now is the time. I'm going there today even though I'm still sick and hillary has got to take Eli to the doctor because he's having an issue and the rest of the kids are sick but you know she's got it. I gotta go. And plus I'm not just going up there to do some work with them. I'm also picking up my friend Malia who's coming in from Hawaii and so I need to go up there and pick her up regardless of whatever else is happening and plus we gotta get work done up there anyway too so oh man there's little stings on here still from last time. I really don't like leaving these guys when they're sick. But somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Hey, Noah. How you feel about a sicky what do you know session? No. No? Okay, my guy. It's all right. I understand. I wouldn't want to do it either, probably. Well, I do it anyway, but I feel you. At least you feeling nice. At least you feeling nice. That's good. You have you enjoy your little bar there, T. I love you. See you soon, okay? See you soon. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, man, I really don't like leaving them. Like, I really don't leave them. Uh, yeah. You gotta do it, though. You gotta do it. It's times like these that make me really appreciate times when everybody's feeling better. Yeah. the back entrance. I feel like the back field here at Freedom Beer where nobody else really goes is kind of a good good spot to start the uh, the history of how I got started working with these guys. Shortly after we moved back from Hawaii, which was back in 2014, I started researching into snake keeping because I knew I was going to do it again and amongst all that research I came across Kevin McCurley's book. It's that huge book like that thick of ball python morphs and I was checking all that stuff out and getting really into it and in that book he mentions Freedom Breeder, he mentions Lindy's name as the cage manufacturers that he keeps a lot of his ball pythons in and I was like well I better research that and look that up and then I found Freedom Breeder's website and I looked at all the different options and found the, the 1010 that I could afford to get and went ahead and, and placed an order to get it. Jeff was here at the time and he reached out to me shortly after to arrange shipping and he was like hey uh, why don't I have my dad drop it off at your house, you know, based on where I was at my parents' house at the time, and save you on the shipping. And I was like, well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah, that, let's do that. Let's do that for sure. And I was already right then, I was just like, sweet. So I just found these guys in a book, and now the guy that I, whose name I just read about in the book is going to come drop off the cage at my house. And I was like, that's great customer service. I like these guys. And then... Then this room, this is the room that I came to, first time I came to the place, and got four of the first six snakes that I got when I first moved back, came out of this room right here. 
hung out with Jeff and I was kind of mind blown. I was like, what are these guys doing with this room full of, how many snakes do you think are in this room, Josiah? I count uh, maybe a thousand. About a thousand snakes in this room. So I, my little my little snake keeping mind was blown. And I was like, okay, this is crazy. I guess I want half of them? No, <laughs> how about four? I was like, how much money I got in my pocket? Okay, let's do four. So obviously that was way before this room even existed. But uh, even in that first little hangout session when I first got to meet these guys in person, we're, we're chilling out and, and uh, checking out snakes. I was like, man, these guys are cool. These guys are like, they're chill, they're vibe. Like, I feel like I can fully just be myself around these guys. I share some stories with them right there upon first meeting that I don't always share with uh, with the people upon first meeting, you know. I, I'm, I wasn't as open then, even just a few years back, you know, was that five years ago? I'm way open more now than I was then, but so I felt comfortable around the guys and I, th there was a vibe there. And this was still years before I ever came to work with these guys, but uh, it's just that NorCal, I was like, they're hella cool. It wasn't too long after that that they found out that I was pretty good at photography. Some of my, saw some of my pictures and we ended up working out a deal where I, I came and, and took a bunch of pictures for the website and of all the racks and did an exchange for a, a coral glow pied, which at the time was, I mean, it's still a pretty, it's still an amazing snake, but at the time it was definitely, I mean, monetarily speaking, well, well worth uh, the work to get these things up there for that snake. And that's the snake that uh, is the queen's boyfriend and the king. So what I'm doing right now, Jimmy, is I'm doing a, oh look, shout out to, oh, shout out to Jimmy almost dropping the tub. <laughs> was, that's funny that you did that, you know why? Because the story I was gonna share from this spot, this is, this is the spot where I, shit. We're headed home depot because somebody was smart enough to not lock the casters on the rack. That was like one of the first times I did a vlog and was still a vlog on, on Triple B TV. I think it was like episode two or three of what I used to call Whatever Wednesday was like my vlog on Triple B TV. <laughs> There's air spraying all over the place and uh, so I got a lot of good memories and this is the backdrop. That black backdrop is where all the racks on the website, that, that's the backdrop for those, those racks. It was taken up here. I know you wouldn't think that because you can't see the rest of this madness going on up here that's actually happening. All you see is that black background in the pictures but that was it. and. Uh, this is Jimmy. I don't, if you guys have never met Jimmy before, he's right here. Oh, this is him. This guy come over here trying to crash the party. I'm trying to give a history. I'm trying to give a history of how history I got. Of how much you guys can bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! You can look back on all oh, that we bullshitted about 20 minutes up here doing nothing. <laughs> Jimmy, did you have a joke for me? Yeah. He thought he did. Oh, it's a good one. I thought it was hilarious. I'm I'm a fan of, of dad jokes. Okay. I'm a dad. All right, so a fish is swimming along, and he runs into a, a concrete wall. What does he say? Fish is swimming along, runs into a concrete wall. It's a dad joke. Did you already know this one? I'm horrible by guessing right, Now you're jokes thinking up. way too long. I'm thinking too hard. Yeah. You go. Damn. Why is that? A, how's that a dad joke? I don't. I don't know. That's what they told me as a dad. Uh, oh, because it's like safe for yeah. kids. I get. I don't know. <laughs> I told my son, and he looked at me like I was retarded. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it sounded like a good joke. He was like, like you, it, damn. He looked at you wall, like you were damn. what? He looked at you like you were what? Like I was, you know, a little retarded. They're just little special needs or something. I don't know. <laughs> They're gonna cancel you, Jimmy. The, the PC police are coming for you. And so I still do plenty of photography stuff here. I'm doing that right now. I'm taking pictures of these base frames for the website because they didn't have any pictures for them yet. Got my my magical magical light. Man, I wish my light looked like this all the time. This is this is great. Hmm. I thought it was pretty awesome how quickly I was able to immerse myself into working or you know being able to meet one of the pioneers of the industry. Uh, shortly after coming back into it, that was that was really cool. But the guy, the, what actually got me working with them was my buddy Garrett over at Reach Out Reptiles. He saw the similarities between the two of us and thought it was a perfect match, the Freedom Breeder and, and I, to work together. And he was the one that actually proposed the idea to them at one of the Tinley shows. And I was like, he told me first, and I was like, I, I don't, that's, I don't want to have that conversation. Garrett's a business guy. He, is good at finding value in things and 
making things go together and making people think, seem like putting money in any certain direction is a good idea. I, I'm not good at that. I don't even like to engage in those type of conversations. So he did that on my behalf and they were receptive to it. And I was like, okay, well, thanks for doing that. And then I, I came up here and pitched them the idea of what I, what I thought it would look like, what, what would be a sponsorship essentially. And it's now, now I'm here. And one of the main reasons I'm up here today, besides just getting photo photography done, um, is we're doing a video with Lindy. Lindy doesn't really like to be on camera, that's why I'm filming his, his backside instead of his front side. But, but he, we did a whole long video with him today on the Freedom Beater channel. We're going over all kinds of old documents and like old history stuff. So Wait. that's kind of why What's I- What's uh, Give me five. <laughs> this is what I love about working here because this is a full on family business. We got four, four generations in the building right now. I'll be back. He'll be back too. He's not he's, getting our electric gate working. He's always he's still here working, holding down the <laughs> fort, making things happen. But how many companies do you get to be in the office with four generations of the family working right side by side in the desk? That's the awesome thing about it. And you guys know I love hanging out with family, being a family, and I've always just felt like really blessed to be able to work with these guys and find some people that are in the industry that are like me and I don't have to like work. Technically, no, no, that's a bad way to put it. No, I, I work, it's fun, it's fun. I don't have to like, I don't have to be like some weirdo that I'm not, I just get to be myself, my own weird self, and it all just gels and we get, we get along, we hang out. And it's, I'm, I'm just saying, man, it's a, it's a great match. And I'm super stoked that it's happening like this and just, uh, I hope that everybody else out there can find a little place in the world for themselves like this because, yeah, this guy's all about it. Yeah. Get it, bud. Check it out. Here's the. <laughs> if, it, if it wasn't serendipitous enough already, like this dude has the same birth date as uh, his friend, same birthday as both Leia and Noah. So we got we got three kids all in the family, all turning turning older year older on the same day of the year every year. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Because now Jarrah's got her own email and, and people are emailing her now and no one knows who she is. So maybe um, like take a picture of us and then put like if you need shipping quotes, email Jerica or Julie. Not for rocks. I don't do rocks. You don't do rocks? No. What, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> the tubs. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, there. I just did it. Look, I was, I was making it happen right there. I'm gonna put the email right at the bottom of the screen there. Like, contact Jerica for racks. <laughs> I just did. I hope all that video made sense. I was kind of all over the place. I was doing a million things while I was recording, so hopefully it made sense. <laughs> I'm sure you got the gist of it. I'm guessing that you did. Um, I'm about to go pick up my homegirl from Hawaii right now, so she's gonna be with us for a few days, and she's really not a friend of snakes, so I'm gonna have fun trying to help her get over that a little bit, and uh, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. See you later. I'm sick. Not just physically, like, in the head. I'm sick. And uh, this is plenty of warning if you guys have turned the video off now if you really didn't want to see this. For those of you guys that are still watching, <laughs> you guys are sick too.